let's see so it is whoops that was an accident perks of being the wall fat woo -la -la. friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I am doing my spring TBR for you all. Yes, it's that time again for me to do my seasonal TBR. In case you're new here, so every season, winter, summer, spring, fall, I take out my TBR jar and I pull out a certain number of books that I own physically that I'm going to work through within the next three months. So spring for me is March, April, and May. And so within those three months, I have that much time to read those books. And within each month, I'll also do like an individual TBR, a monthly TBR. And for that, I'll just tell you what books I'm gonna focus on that are on this TBR and maybe some extra books that I add in. That way it splits it up for me and it's not like overwhelming to try and read a certain amount of books a month, but also you still get updated on what I'm reading each month. So it's kind of like a, tricky system but I have it all worked out in my head hopefully. For this month I'm going to pull out the books in my sticks and all that kind of stuff. So these are all color coded by genre. Reds are contemporary, blues, fantasy, sci-fi, um, pinks are arcs, oranges are thrillers, uh, and then there are a couple more colors but if I pull one out I'll, tell, I'll share that with you just because I can't remember all the details. Uh, purples are fiction and blacks are series which I'll explain that more if I end up pulling out a series so yeah that's the gist of it I'm trying to think of anything else I don't know how I did yet for my winter TBR because I am pre-filming this but hopefully I did well I was in a really really bad slump so who knows but hopefully that slump does not continue into this new season so let's get started. So all right, what I'll do is I'll mix, I'll like shift these so they kind of are getting mixed up and I'll close my eyes and then I'll pull one out and I'll share with you what it is. So let's mix this up good because I added some new stuff. All right, a fantasy and it is, all right, so I don't know if I have this out. Um, some of my books are still kind of packed away. So this one is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. I'm super excited to actually finally read this because I've I think the trilogy or series just ended or a new book just came out so I'm excited to read this and see how much I like it I've heard I haven't heard too much about it but I feel like the few things I've heard people have liked it so I'm intrigued and I I know I've read the synopsis but I like kind of don't remember at the same time what it's about so the next the book is A contemporary and it is this one I know I don't know where I put it but it is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Steven Chabosky I'm excited to read this par partially because it is short so that is good but also because I've been meaning to read this I love the movie and I would really love to finally get around to reading the book and learning more like just seeing the similarities and differences and stuff like that too I hopefully you know what this is about You've seen the movie or at least read the book or at least heard of it uh if not from what i understand it's about a boy who is going through some mental health things and he's kind of struggling to really fit into school and life and yeah that's all i kind of remember about it so fun all right next book this one Ooh, it's a series oh yay I'm excited okay hold on give me one second finally something I can show you um, but it's not the individual one because yeah so the way my series sticks works is um, I have series I don't I almost said all my shelves but I don't have shelves <laughs> I have series in my room right now that I either haven't finished or haven't started so I put them on these sticks and I colored them black so if I pull a series stick it means that I have to either start that series or continue on to whatever book I stopped at so the best example I have is Harry Potter I stopped at the fourth book so if I were to pull Harry Potter out then I would have to continue on to the fifth book and same with certain series if I haven't started it yet then I gotta read the first book so with this one <laughs> I pulled the Percy Jackson series and I'm showing the people the full box set because I haven't unwrapped this yet so 
this bad boy is here. Um, I managed to get this at work for like 20 bucks. I think it was 20 bucks. If I remember correctly, it was 20 bucks. So I thought, why not grab it? Because I have a discount and it's on sale. And I can finally try and finish the series. I read the first two a couple years ago and then I just never continued. I will be honest with you, I'm probably just going to reread the first one because it's been a minute. <laughs> so I don't remember everything. But I will say I also grabbed the first two graphic novels of this series as well, just in case rereading it doesn't go well for me, then I'll just grab the graphic novels and I'll read those. That's like my only stipulation. Just because uh, I have read the first two and sometimes rereading goes well for me and sometimes it doesn't. So just in case it doesn't, then I'm going to do the graphic novels. But just so you know, this is here. I'm excited because I really did want to try and finish this series this year. So hopefully it works. All right, next series. All right, next book. I don't know why I said series. All right. A contemporary. Ooh, and it is. I just got this too. Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills. Um, I got this from my bookish Valentine. So thank you to whoever you are for this book because one, I love these covers. I want to get the rest of her books in these covers when they come out. But also, I have been wanting to really read some Emma Mills books. So super excited. Alrighty, next book. I'm gonna mix it up so that way I, everything has a fair chance. Okay. Middle. Orange. Ooh. I don't know where I put this. It is The Disappearance of Sloane Sullivan by Gia Cripps. I don't... I don't remember much. I remember I think the girl is in like witness protection, the witness protection program, and so her identity changes a lot. It's kind of that, but I don't fully remember the story but I remember reading I read this synopsis and I was like I want to read this book and then I think I found it in a secondhand shop and I just bought it so I'm excited next book let's see it's a fantasy oh yay I'm excited it is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, my friend Carrie from Cure the Book Ball got this for me for Christmas. And so I've been waiting because I've never read a Marissa Meyer book before. And I'm super excited to check this out and see if I like it or not. I'm like intrigued by the superhero, supervillain, complex thing vibe going on in this book. So exciting. Oh my gosh, yay. <laughs> I think I'm going to do like a couple more. A contemporary and it is that's not what happened by Cody Keplinger so this one is an arc I have I think um, I got it like a couple years ago it I know it involves the the concept of a school shooting and this girl is in the bathroom with her best friend and like the I think she was hiding in the stall when her friend got shot and it's a whole thing about um, people have like basically heroized her friend or like spread rumors about how her friend died like oh she said this before that happened or oh this happened like kind of thing and she like I guess has to decide whether she's gonna be honest about what happened like like how it happened or let her friend I guess be glorified I don't I don't know the full I can't remember the full synopsis synopsis but that's the idea I got from it like there were rumors going around about like what was said and what was done and she's the only one that kind of knows the truth so i'm intrigued next one is another series oh are you kidding me okay now i got two it is <laughs> the next book in the infernal devices series by cassandra and claire so i read clockwork angel the first one I believe that's the first one so now I have to read Clockwork Prince which is intriguing I wasn't a big big fan of the first one but I guess we'll see how I like it hopefully it picks up in the second book I don't know I am trying to catch up eventually to Cassandra Clare's books but it's gonna be a minute I already know just from the amount of series and books she's coming out with it's gonna it's probably gonna take me the rest of my life to try and catch up so next book gonna mix this up again okay um it's a contemporary and it is 
The Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody. Um, I read a Jessica Brody book in middle school and I kind of liked it pretty much, I think, if, if I remember correctly. So I'm intrigued to see how this one goes. I know, if I remember correctly, the synopsis is that like a girl's dad, like her estranged dad died and like he left her his car or something like that and she doesn't want it so she decides to sell it and what well, like she decides to like drive it to the person wanting to buy it so she takes this like cross country road trip and I think it might be with an ex-boyfriend or a potential boyfriend I don't even know that part but it sounded intriguing I love cross country trips and it's, it sounds like a good fun like spring nipper read kind of I mean it's kind of more of summer probably but I'm gonna make it a spring read so excitement okay we're gonna do three more so let's see. Another series. Well, the series that I pulled was the Mediator, Mediator series by Meg Cabot. Um, I'm gonna reread the first one. So it's the, the Shadowland, the Mediator Shadowland, whatever it's called. So this series, oh my gosh, it was so good. It only came in these mass market size books, and <laughs> I love this. Um, it's about this girl named Suze. Who can see ghosts so her mom remarries this guy who has three sons and so they move to California to live like to move in with this guy and his family and uh, she they live on this and they like bought a new house or whatever and they live on this like old ranch style house land thing going on I can't even remember all the details and there she meets this ghost but then she also goes to this old Catholic school where there are ghosts <laughs> so she has to kind of deal with the fact that she's very majorly surrounded and there's like an evil ghost in her school that's trying to like disrupt everything and she has to fix it. I thought the series was so funny and so cool when I read it and so hopefully I still have the same feelings when I reread it so we'll see. Two more books. I'm only gonna do 12 this time because yeah. middle grade this is what this green means and it is suddenly supernatural school spirit which is like the first book in the series I read this in I think middle school and I kind of enjoyed it I remember enjoying it and I saw it recently and I was like oh it's on sale it's kind of cheap I want to buy it because it would be cool to like reread some of the stuff that I loved in middle school to see if I still love them and I thought it was just a fun read in general, so I'm excited to check this out. One more book, and this will be my spring TV. Let's hopefully make it good. It's a contemporary, and it is The Art of Breaking Things by Laura Simpson. I got this at BookCon, not at BookCon, but BookCon Weekend at um, that bookstore, the big one that everybody loves. I can't remember the name of right now, but I got it from there, and it was pretty cheap. Oh, The Strand. That's where I got it from, The Strand. <laughs> and I was really intrigued by the story before it came out, and so I was excited to see that it was on sale there. So I bought it. Um, if I remember correctly, this is about a girl who her mom hasn't had the greatest luck with men it doesn't really make the greatest decisions regarding men and there's one boyfriend i think that uh she is traumatized by and she he ends up coming back into their lives again and i think it's her trying to figure out if she should finally tell someone or what i'm not positive I could be wrong do not quote me on any of the synopsis that I just said but I think this is the gist that I got from this story so I'm hoping it'll be good I'm hoping things will be healthy we healthy we resolved um, but we'll see so I'm super excited okay that was a lot uh, hopefully you enjoyed this let me go through my books again so the books I will be reading for spring is Ash Princess Ge the geography of lost things Perks of Being a Wallflower, the first book in the Percy Jackson series. Famous in a Small Town, The Disappearance of Sloane Sullivan. Renegades, That's Not What Happened. Clockwork Prince, the first book in the Suddenly Supernatural series. And the first book in the Mediator, Mediator series, plus The Art of Breaking Things. So, hopefully.
hopefully I can get through all of this. It sounds like it'll be fun. I have a good mix of contemporary and fantasy and all the things. So yeah. If you like my video, please like it down below. If you like that I keep doing these seasonal TBRs, please also let me know down below. I really do enjoy filming them. So I hope you enjoy watching them. If you have any comments on any of the books I pulled, please comment those down below. And if you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below and stealing the, stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.